Refraction Verification of Snell's Law In this module, you will learn how to verify Snell's Law of Refraction. Dip a pencil in a glass half filled with water. Now look through the glass at the pencil. The pencil appears bent. Why? Well, the pencil appears bent because of refraction. Refraction is defined as the bending of light as it passes from one transparent medium to another. The angle between the incident ray and the normal at the point of incidence is called the angle of incidence. Similarly, the angle between the refracted ray and the normal at the point of incidence is called the angle of refraction. For a pair of transparent media, the light of a given color and the same angle of incidence, do you think the angle of refraction can have random values? The answer is no. Snell's law or second law of refraction states that when light passes from one transparent medium to another, the ratio of sine of the angle of incidence and sine of the corresponding angle of refraction is always constant for the pair of media. This constant is called refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first. Let us now try to verify Snell's law with the help of a simple activity. For the activity, take a sheet of white paper, a wooden board, a pencil, a glass lab, eight drawing pins, a ruler and a protractor. Fix the sheet of paper on the cardboard. Now place the glass lab on the sheet of paper and draw its outline using the pencil. Fix two drawing pins on the far side of the glass lab. Now look through the glass lab and fix two pins on the other side of the slab in such a way that all the four pins appear to be in the same line. Remove the glass lab and all the pins. Draw straight lines passing through the two pairs of pin marks as shown. Here, the straight line AB serves as the incident ray and the straight line CD serves as the emergent ray. Join the points B and C. The straight line BC serves as the refracted ray. Draw a normal N1, N2 at the point of incidence, that is B. The angle ABN1 is the angle of incidence, while the angle CBN2 is the corresponding angle of refraction. Now measure the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction using the protractor. Next, find the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence and the sine of the angle of refraction. The ratio comes out to be nearly 1.5. That is, 
the refractive index of the glass slab with respect to air. Repeat the experiment for different values of angles of incidence. What do you infer from the activity? For every pair of media, the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence and the sine of its corresponding angle of refraction is always constant. This verifies Snell's law. From the activity, you can observe that if a ray of light passes from a rarer transparent medium to a denser transparent medium, the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence and the sine of its corresponding angle of refraction is always greater than 1. So the angle of incidence is greater than the angle of refraction. This signifies that the refracted ray bends towards the normal at the point of incidence. In contrast, if a ray of light passes from a denser transparent medium to a rarer transparent medium, the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence and the sine of its corresponding angle of refraction is always less than 1. So the angle of incidence is less than the angle of refraction. This signifies that the refracted ray bends away from the normal at the point of incidence. Hope you enjoyed learning. In this module you've learned the phenomenon of bending of light as it passes from one transparent medium to another is called refraction of light. The angle between the incident ray and the normal at the point of incidence is called the angle of incidence. The angle between the refracted ray and the normal at the point of incidence is called the angle of refraction. Snell's law states that when light passes from one transparent medium to another, the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence and the sign of the corresponding angle of refraction is always constant for the pair of media. If a light ray passes from a rarer transparent medium to a denser transparent medium, it bends towards the normal at the point of incidence. If a light ray passes from a denser transparent medium to a rarer transparent medium, it bends away from the normal at the point of incidence.